What's up guys, it's Alexander Williamson here with the secret history living inside of your fish tank or aquarium, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but I have some really, really exciting news. For those of you who are subscribers and Patreon supporters, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, the channel is growing leaps and bounds. Um, subscribers aren't necessarily growing like you can, you can see that they're growing, but that number isn't as impressive, but I mean 60,000 views on the channel altogether now in two months. We're gaining speed, and that allows me to do more and more cool stuff and spend more and more time on this. Right now, the channel is not monetized yet. YouTube is going through a kind of a quirky phase with monetization, and they've got a backlog of lots of stuff they're reviewing because of... Um, guns and sex and violence and things like that that they're trying to get out of videos and demonetize uh, so there's some growing pains going on in the industry which have translated to me not being able to get a hold of anybody and talk about that beyond that uh, a lot of times you make a dollar to three dollars per thousand or even per two or three thousand uh, views if they watch the ads and so forth so it's not really a great way to raise money for a channel unless you're in the you know hundreds of thousands or millions of views on videos and this is you guys are special you're like me you are curious learning uh thinking folks and you're uh you're here to learn to have more of a documentary or lecture style format uh and I'm going to be bringing that to you. Because of the Patreon account right now, we have a couple new things. And I want to talk about three really big things coming up that should be really exciting for everyone watching the channel. So, uh, first of all, we have CO2. So we will be playing a little bit with CO2 and plants. We're starting small. Fluval randomly sent me this. A distributor said, try it out. Let people know that it's Fluval. Be honest, um, I'm worried about the size of the uh, canister, uh, 45 grams running out. Um, I'm starting it very slow in a 20 gallon, and we'll see. I think they could give everyone those for free, and just buying the recharges uh, is probably where they can make their money. But regardless, thanks whoever sent that. It was like an anonymous thing that showed up. Um, so cool. But great for the channel. We'll be able to talk about that play with that a little bit. Uh, the next really exciting thing, I don't want you guys to get sick, so we're moving. Uh, you already know about the microscope, so we'll be looking at all sorts of microscopic stuff. Uh, also, just little critters, bugs, uh, ortho anthropods, and copepods, and every kind of pod you can think of, um, <laughs> as well as algae and... Uh, you know, anything that's in the fish tank, parasites, stuff like that. If a fish dies, we're going to be doing some autopsies, which, like, they won't let me monetize that. Or if I show a dead fish, they won't let me monetize. So that's where Patreon is coming in, and I'm glad that I set up an account. If this entertains you, even if it's just, like, a buck, then it's just a nice nod, and it all adds up immensely into paying the extra electricity bills and things like that, but also allowing me to get my hands on some interesting fish and keep doing some interesting projects, um, possibly traveling down to Florida to check out the fish farms. So my next exciting thing, other than this community tank, which I think I'll be redoing into a Venezuelan tank, both botanically and... Uh, geologically and uh, species wise right now we've got uh, some shrimp in here they're not local uh, to South America we've got lots of plants that aren't local to South America although you know probably half are and some types of stone that you would not be finding in the Amazon uh, basin or the Orinoco uh, Delta so Big plans for this in the future. We'll be doing species profiles, so I'm going to try to make some shorter content stuff like, uh, you know, rainbow fish or Corydora julii's and just kind of do like a five minute rundown of like care and facts and something interesting. And then we'll also still be doing the longer form videos of um, interesting history connections and all sorts of stuff like that. So, Drum roll, please. Here's the big news. So we have a brand new 29-gallon tank. 
I bought this with the money coming in through Patreon, you know, the 15 bucks. I just made an investment. Petco has that tank sale going right now, a buck a gallon. Get in there, guys. If you need another tank, if your tanks are old, I mean, you can't. I, I have friends who talk to me about wholesale tank prices. They can't even touch that price. Um, and there is a warranty on anything over 20 gallons, I want to say, uh, of five years. So they're fairly decent tanks. I mean, they have a little bit left to be desired in some of the glue jobs and things, but you can take an X-Acto knife and clean that up. Uh, and uh, they're pretty sturdy, solid tanks. Great for breeding, maybe not the best for aquascaping. But the really exciting news about this tank is I have gotten in touch since my last video talking about uh, fresh uh, not fresh, uh, wild fish versus farm raised tropical fish. Uh, we have gotten into contact. Uh, I've been contacted also by a number of people in the, uh, farming industry as well as in the wild catch industry and Piaba. I know I said Piama. That was just a slip of the tongue. Check out Piaba. Great organization, but also check out, um, right now I've made friends with a guy we hit it off we talked for hours him and i have a lot in common he's just an interesting guy who's doing like sustainable permaculture and aquaculture stuff and he's a little bit newer on the scene compared to some of the old guys in the industry and he is ready to like reinvent uh whatever is most effective for uh for the farm industry down there he has his own e-commerce site which is a big uh, a big difference between him and most farms. The farming world there is rather closed off, and they deal with big distributors and things. And you will never see uh, you know wholesale prices or even their stock whatsoever available in public. So real quick here too, this is just getting set up, so it's all murky. But down here we still have the shrimp. We're going to be talking about how to do setups without uh, a hang off the back filter or under gravel filter or even a drip filter. We're going to be talking about air filters, switching this over to a sponge filter and uh, just how to take care of fish and shrimp in that way. Um, as long as they have the algae and water changes they need as well as the tannins and the biofilms they need. So this will still be a shrimp tank, but I want you guys to let me know what you'd like to see because we have uh, hopefully coming up this week later we will have an unboxing of some awesome plants from a company that contacted me and wants to feature some plants and I'm not above that I, now I'm gonna call it like I see it if these plants are garbage and they're all dead when they get here that's what what you guys will see um, but I don't think that's the case there's a company that I would have already bought plants from and there's there you know we have a relationship that I I appreciate and I am excited uh, to continue so um, I hope that you guys are interested in what is yet to come in uh, in this hobby and in this uh, realm on this channel. Sorry, I was off there. The light fell into the water. Good thing those things are waterproof because I'm a bit of a klutz sometimes. Um, but in any case, that's why uh, the Patreon is so like awesome and why it meant so much to me that we had those first few supporters and that people have sent things. Like That's awesome. Uh, if you have a company and you want to contribute something to one of the projects or if you have an idea and you're like, hey, I'd like to see this, take care of this fish or breed this fish, I'm open to things like that. If the people watching want to see, if the viewers, if you guys are like, that's lame, like you're being a corporate shill or whatever, I, I don't think that'll be the case, uh, we'll stop. Because this is still going to be about education and um, history and the interesting quirks of fish keeping and, uh, you know, biology, science, uh, and history where we're human and the natural world meet. Uh, we'll also be doing more aquascaping now that we have the CO2. That opens up some uh, beautiful plants we can do some botany with uh, and talk about so we'll do the quick profiles and things like that of fish and plants trying to keep those probably like under six minutes or so uh, maybe even do some like three minute just quick like what's the ph what's the uh what country are they from what kind of water do they like what kind of fish go well with them 
and uh, do short stuff like that so that I can keep rolling out um, interesting things frequently. And then we'll be doing the like 45 minute to half hour lecture type thing where I will pick a large topic. You know, I've had uh, suggested to do like the effects of uh, sea level change with um, the rise in temperature in Florida and how that's going to affect the farming industry. Um, We're going to be talking about uh, Singapore, Japan, Taiwan, Indonesia, other countries that raise fish. The uh, implications of if we stop buying wild-caught fish from the Amazon and what that would do to the folks down there. Um, Who these independent farmers are in Florida, I think, is a really fascinating story. Uh, I have been in contact with uh, one farm in particular, and that's Tampa Aquaculture. And as I have uh, probably mentioned they have their own e-commerce site and they are going a little bit rogue in the sense that they still sell wholesale and they are kind of the kings of crawfish or crawdads or crayfish whatever you want to call them depending on where you're from uh it, you know ornamental ones and uh more i guess edible kinds too uh in theory and uh, they've also got some cool stuff like miniature Mexican crayfish that are bright orange and that only get two inches. And then he's starting to carry uh, rainbow fish and neocardinia uh, or neocardina uh, shrimp, which is pretty cool. So my blue dream colony will probably now have a blue velvet colony and also we'll we'll be switching things around we've got the sakura painted fire in the 40 gallon tank over here and that will continue to be bred into um but the the babies don't last long in there but we're gonna see what we can do about that we'll tackle all that in other videos in the future um but I urge you uh if you're looking for some rainbow fish or for shrimp like This guy has a killer deal on shrimp. And I'm not just saying that because he's sending me some fish, which are going to be going in this tank. And I'm really excited because we've got thread fins coming and fork tails coming. And that's going to be super exciting because they have cool mating rituals, cool colors, and they grow up to be really interesting fish behaviorally. But if you need cherry shrimp, he's got them for a dollar and he saves the best stuff for the e-commerce, you know, rather than, um, you know, uh, some places that just, you get what you get. He tries to do a pretty good job of selecting decent cherry shrimp, you know, and he also has Sakura fire shrimp. He has, uh, striped really off and on. He's got everything from green jade to snowballs to, you know, He's got a lot of cool stuff. So check out Tampa Aquaculture. Um, Look him up online. I'll put a link in the description. But he's a great guy into permaculture, into sustainable farming. Uh, He is going to be one of my go-to guys when I have questions about how the farm fish industry works for ornamental fish and, you know, why things are the way they are and how things have evolved. Um... He's going to be a great resource, and uh, a a friend of the channel will be doing some interviews with some old-timers that have been in the business 60 years, all the way down to folks that are getting into it now, but he's coming at it from a point of view that I totally respect, working with science and, uh, you know, progress, and not necessarily just getting stuck in ways of the past. Uh, and selling only wholesale uh, is, you know, that works great sometimes, but uh, if you can, encourage these small uh, fish farms to try to sell you uh, fish straight through them. Even if you have to pay a little bit more, um, they're willing to accommodate whatever the customer wants in the long run, like I talked about in my other videos. So, thanks for tuning in. If you stayed tuned this long, you have a long attention span. Congratulations. <laughs> no, um, you're clearly interested in this and want to see more, or you've been keeping up with the channel and you're excited to see more. So keep telling me what you want to see. I'm going to keep looking into things, doing research, and then doing quicker videos on uh, just like kind of more sound bitey stuff that that is still educational and will tie into history or breeding or genetics, but it won't be so long that you have to invest. It's not like an episode or a documentary you have to sit down and watch. So if you like this stuff, if you want to see more of it, if you want to watch these projects progress 
and new species that are rare and hard to find from plants to fish and projects please click that like button if you haven't already uh you stuck with me this far and uh i'll be there for you guys doing what you want to uh do uh you guys say uh jump and i will say how high uh and uh I want you guys to know that it means a lot that, uh, that the Patreon page, uh, we have supporters. You guys are the ones who allowed this fish tank to get bought. Um, and you know, things like a new camera, new micro lens, a way to see under the microscope better, all that kind of stuff is going to happen through Patreon supporters. And that's, that's the bottom line. Plus there's great rewards, things like original artwork and, um, chances to get some of my stock of um you know my uh my endlers that are tiger and or leopard endlers that are kind of hard to find and females and uh as well as my shrimp so hang tight and if you're interested in supporting the channel in that way and you can uh i really appreciate it if you can't no problems just viewing sharing liking and subscribing that's where i'm at with a lot of channels in my life i can't patreon everybody and i totally get it you're still just as important to me guys so thank you for tuning in and another reminder if you want blue dream shrimp for five bucks a pop or cherry shrimp for a dollar a pop uh, check out Tampa Aquaculture. They just have some killer deals. And it's because he's a wholesaler and he's decided to also have an e-commerce site, which is unorthodox. But he's a smart guy. He's got a family. And uh, he's a real guy. You know, he's got a real story. He's not part of, uh, quote unquote, big fish uh, in that sense. And uh, I think it's worth taking a look at, as well as any local farms that are willing to put up a site or do e-commerce uh, in whatever form. So thanks for staying tuned, guys. Take care of your fish, take care of each other, and keep on swimming. I'll talk to you soon with lots of exciting stuff later this week. Bye.